What's going on, everybody? Fast breaking this morning for Team Jesus, Champs for Life. And if you don't know, now you know. Whoop. <laughs> Praise the Lord, guys. I'm going to pass this message off to you, and I want you to pass it on to your family and friends. And it's, today's title of this devotional is called let me prepare you. As a coach, would I want to prepare his team of any sport? Uh, basketball is what we're playing with today. We're playing basketball. <laughs> Let me see if I can get the old finger spin. What the finger? Help me out, Lord. Oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. We got it going, guys. Hallelujah. <laughs> and as um, we need to be prepared for a basketball game and who does that who helps the players get get um busy and ready and focused for the game the coach god is our coach on this playing field this game of this playing field of life and this game of life um jesus is truly our mvp with them leading the way leading the fast break right to pass us off encouragement to pass us off um strength Pass the, uh, pass some hope off, some love. And that's what he does, man. He passes it off to us. We get the pass and we run it in for a dunk or the winning jump shot, right? We shoot it and we score every time with the Lord. And let God prepare you for today's journey. And this game day is game day for Christians every day, guys. Okay. I'm all excited, pumped up, get the basketball in my hand. I want to go play somewhere. <laughs> Oh, man, I lost a step or two, but I still got a step, and that's what I focus on, hallelujah, that I can walk, man, you know, and um, and and just be here today to serve the Lord, to literally um, give you this message, man, it's an honor and a privilege to serve the Lord, I'm full of excitement for the Lord, oh, man, I just love him so much, Jesus died for me, I want to live my best for him, and when I played basketball, guys, man, I was all over the place, I don't know, uh, you can ask one of my old friends, if, you know, um, I was just always out to play. Anything about me is just, I gave everything I got is what I'm trying to say. I wasn't the best. I wasn't the worst, but it didn't matter. I had fun while I played with a bunch of great guys back in Baltimore City, and they all know who they are. I don't want to leave anybody out, but, and all my childhood friends, you know, just playing, whatever we play, kickball to baseball to dodgeball to basketball, football, um, anything, lacrosse, soccer, whatever we played, I gave my best, and I want to give my best for the Lord today. But, you know, as a player on this court right here, a little basketball diagram here, how can they really do their best? Yeah, they got athletic ability, but someone needs to guide that energy and their ability into a certain area, a certain way on that court. And let God lead your energy and your your gifts, which you're good at, down down the court on this field of life, right? And this court of life, so to speak, right? And then we can slam dunk, you know? And that's what we want to do. We want to let God prepare us for today. And how do we do that? Um, usually players get a, um, a game, uh, you know, um, a uh, playbook, you know, or a strategy book or, you know, for the next next opponent um, playbook, you know, and, um, you know, for, for the next game. Well, we already got that. They get that Monday morning, you know, um, after Sunday's game, they get, you know, they get uh, into the locker room. They sit down with the chalkboard, etc. They draw some X's and O's, and we're going to run this play. Well, this is what our, our Bibles are, guys. This is our playbook for the next game, for this game of life that we're all living and playing in right now, guys. With Jesus leading the way, fast breaking, and he is our MVP, and we can't lose. There's not a game we can lose. There's not a battle we can lose today. Let me prepare you. If we're not in the presence of our coach as basketball players, then we're not going to be very good. Yeah, we're going to be able to jump and shoot when we want, but there's a lot of strategy to basketball, setting picks and running plays so your best shooter can take a good shot at a certain position on the court. God knows the exact strategy that we need to do today to beat the devil and Team Lucifer, which are losers anyway. <laughs> but it's still, we have to play the game. Even though Jesus won the championship, so to speak, salvation, right? And uh, and and conquered death. We still, and won the war, we still got battles to go. And, you know, he won, the, he won the championship, but we still got games to play until the Lord retires us and takes us home. Hallelujah. <laughs> All this sports analogy, I love it. Hallelujah. And, uh, Good sister Madison and her son, he's a big sports fan, and he loves, she said, when we do uh, sports analogies here, so I like bringing the ball in, I like, I love sports growing up, you know, and, and, and I take that same energy and focus and wanting to win on the court and on the field and on the baseball diamond to, to doing this for the Lord today, to win victory today for Team Jesus by, you know, again, really quickly... Let me get this ball up here if I can. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, we got it. <laughs> but to pass off some hope today, some pass off some wisdom, some encouragement.
encouragement, something. And that's what I'm doing right now. We're going to pass this off to you, and you're going to take it, and you're going to slam dunk it in Satan's face today because not today, Satan, or any day. And again, there's not a battle we can lose. There's not a game we can lose. There's nothing that we can't do because we can truly do all things through Christ who gives us strength back there hidden behind the I love you balloons. And uh, I just want you to know, guys, that uh, everything's going to be all right. But we need to stay focused on the coach and let uh, Jesus lead the way. He's fast breaking, man. We need to we follow him down the court and we'll slam dunk on Satan each and every day. But without Jesus fast breaking, we're just like all sitting on the bench in defeat. And that's the way it goes, guys. All right, we're going to get into this now. It's really beautiful. Uh, two two um, scriptures today coming out of the book of Exodus, chapter 33, 14. And I'll get to that in a moment. But we're going to go ahead and start uh, with this devotional. Out of the Jesus is calling. Jesus is calling. And I don't know what you're going through. But if you're sitting in darkness too long, that means you ain't calling on the Lord because he would come in and on the scene and light it up for you. So if you're sitting in darkness right now, depression, anxiety, and fear, and hopelessness, you can't see hope, you can't see incur you can't see courage, you can't see strength, and you're feeling weak and hopeless and discouraged, it's because you're not calling on God. We need to let him prepare us for the day, and we will fast break down this 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 field of life today and slam dunk on satan and get the victory and we might get some injuries during the game you know he's twisted ankle here or elbow there in a, in a game on a basketball court well as christians it's game day every day again and we go through tough times we get elbowed by the devil some gossipers some liars some haters you know um demon possessed people doing the devil's work or directly spiritual attack you know so we catch some elbows spiritually we catch some uh twisted ankles uh spiritually you know what i'm saying so it's all about focusing on who? Our MVP, Jesus, and let him fast break and lead the way for us, okay? And uh, Father Yahweh, God Almighty, he gave us this playbook right here, our Bibles. He created life. He knows all about life, and all the answers to your questions are found here and through prayer. Hallelujah. Let me prepare you for the day that stretches out before you. I know exactly what this day contains. Whereas you have only a vague idea about it. It's like when I woke up, I'm like, what's going to happen today? But I'm at a point in my life that I don't care how the day turns out, man. Good, the bad, or the ugly. I'm praising them in the good. I'm praising them in the bad. It takes a minute to get there, but I get there because I know there's a purpose behind my pain. So, and I, I want to know what's ahead, but you know what? It's kind of cool waking up every day, turning the page with no writing on it, right? Because God, you know... <laughs> keeps us in the darkness, but then he's there to light it up, right? Because he's God and he's already been to the future and back. So he already knows what's going to happen. So I figure this way, even on a bad day, it's a good day because God's trying to teach us to be more like Jesus. He's trying to tough us, toughen us up, strengthen us, just like a coach has you doing exercises and going through different things to make you what? A better player. God's trying to make us a better person, more like Jesus, more like him. Woo! Hallelujah. But if we could see into the future, it wouldn't be no fun, you know? Um, you know, some days you want to see there, like, hey, what's going to happen? You know, my friend's sick, or, you know, will I see my daughter again, or will this happen? But you know what? We trust in God. That's where faith comes in. We can't see, so we walk by faith, not by sight. Listen, let me prepare you again for this day that stretches out before you. I exactly, I know exactly how this day and what it contains. Whereas you only have a vague idea. We can only see as far as we can see, right? You would like to see a map showing all the twists and turns of this journey today. You feel, you'd feel you feel more prepared if you could somehow visualize what is on the road ahead. Of course we would, right? However, this is, better, this is a better way to prepare you for whatever you encounter today. Spend quality time with me, the one who knows what's ahead. We must stay in his presence, in his word. Praise the Lord, guys. I'm going to read this... Uh, this um, scripture here, hallelujah, Holy Spirit, have your way. Um, Exodus chapter uh, 33 is the, the day that uh, Jesus lived 33 years. That's really cool. And verse 14, all right, got this highlighted. And he said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. And, you know, whatever, you know, Moses meets with the Lord, right? This is what this is about. And it's the promise of God's presence in Moses' life as he does God's will and work you know, and what God needs him to do, God's going to be with him. 
at in front of Pharaoh at the Red Sea later on. You know, it's just an amazing <sighs> as God tells Moses this, he's speaking to us. You understand? Because God's the same yesterday, today, and forever. I gotta say this all the time. This is part of you know what the Lord gives me to speak. So God's presence literally means um my face. Um my presence literally means in Hebrew, it says here in the study note for this particular verse. My face, this extraordinary promise of God's presence with his people was ultimately fulfilled through Jesus, right? Because um, in the book of Isaiah, it says, I can't tell you where, but go there. Um, a Messiah will be born and his name will be Emmanuel. Translated, God with us, right? God, God made man. So rest refers to the land of Canaan and the conquest over the land could be enjoyed by the Israelites, because with God in our in our presence, we can find true rest in any land of the enemy, here, there, over here, wherever it feels so uncomfortable. With God, you're always going to feel rest, and we and we can always be assured that God, with Him, we will never lose, and we will always have peace and comfort and joy, guys. And um, it just God's everywhere at one time, and He's with us wherever we go, and you just need to know that that God loves us and he's with us and if we're not in his presence we can't be prepared we can't rest we don't have peace you know because this world doesn't offer rest and peace it offers um sleepless nights and anxiety right that causes the sleepless nights right and there is no peace here so we can only find peace guys if you're feeling anxiety filled or in fear and hopeless you can only find those th good things from God that's why the world's a mess. They're addicted to something or other because they want to get high or drunk to be in a fantasy world away from reality, which is rough right now. But if you stay sober and stay in reality, now you can chase your problems down and those those horrible emotions we feel instead of them chasing us down and beating us up. Well, we chase them down and beat them up, man. And we got peace. We got joy. We got hope. And now hopelessness and anxiety and fear are not beating us up, but we're beating them down with the power of God and walking in his spirit, right? Praise the Lord. I will not show you what is on the road ahead, he says, but I will thoroughly equip you for the journey. We're going to go through it. My living presence is your companion each step of the way. Stay in continual, continual communication with me, whispering my name where, whenever you need to redirect your thoughts. So you feel sad? Jesus, help me. I feel sad. You're going to feel peace. You're going to feel joy. You're going to feel you're full of anxiety. You're going to, Jesus, help me. Peace is coming, man. Joy is coming. Victory is coming your way, but we must stay in the presence of our Lord. My name, whatever you need to direct your thoughts, right? This is all we do. Whisper his name. You don't even need to say it out loud. Say it in your head. He lives within us. He can hear our thoughts. That's why it's so special. Thus, you can walk through this day with focus on me, abiding my abiding presence is the best roadmap available. Look, if you didn't have your uh, roadmap or GPS in your car, you would get lost on your journey, right? Easy, right? Hands down. So we need to stay focused on God. He is our GPS, and he will guide and lead you the road you need to be on to ride you right to victory, right home down Victory Boulevard, right? And we will not get lost when we're following the Lord. Let him be your GPS today. Get in your word. He will speak to you through his word. His breath is infused in every word of the Bible, guys. Praise the Lord. Now, John 15, verses 4 through 7. Abide in me, and I will, I will and I in you. Jesus is speaking. Red letters. Hallelujah. John 15, verses 4 through 7. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine. You are the branches, he says. Hallelujah. You are. He abides in me, I abide in him, bears much fruit, strength, energy, you know, all the fruits of the spirit, right? Anything you need. When we're in God's presence, we got everything we need to get victory, to have joy and peace in our lives. Now it says, abides in me and I in him, bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Wow. Praise the Lord, guys. Look, without God, we can't do nothing. Without God, we'll get lost. And we just need to know that we need to be in God's presence. And he is the Prince of Peace. We can only find the gift of peace in his presence, guys, right here, man. It's, it's just may, may um, It says, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let, let it be afraid, for I have overcame the world. I mean, that's uh, 
pretty amazing scriptures and just know we got victory in God. We got victory wherever we go because he's everywhere at one time. Okay, guys, and just know that God, Jesus, has overcame the world. So in peace, you know, you feel just hopeless and discouraged. Just know that God is with you and he's overcome what you're already going through. But we can't overcome those things overcoming us unless we're connected to him. Because he is the one who's defeated Satan. We haven't. So we need him to come into that moment to overcome what we what we you know what we're going through to get the victory. It's not a battle we can lose if we call on God to come fight for us. Peace be with you. I love you. And I hope you all have a very, very blessed day, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh remember, let God prepare you. And how do we do that? Let him get up early, get in your word, get prayed up, and get on the road. And uh, click that GPS on <laughs> and God will lead you to the de destination you need to be at today. At the right time and the right place, you will be victory when you get there. Peace be with you. I love you. Talk to you soon. Hallelujah.